Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part two of an Elder Scrolls Online Markath prologue walkthrough. In the previous episode, when we last left off, we were just about to go into Castle Ravenwatch, into a secret entrance. We suspect that Verandas is somehow involved with the Grey Host, or was involved with them in the past, and we're investigating to try to find out what's going on. So we're going into that secret passage right now. This way. The door's over here. Uh... Oh my god. And down we go. All right. Watch out for vermin. We don't fumigate down here as often as we should. Keep moving. There's a ladder at the end of this tunnel that leads up to the castle. And this is another new area, of course. That is not part of the core game. Uh, they've just added this in, and uh, it's playing Greymore music now instead of the core game music. Let's hurry to the cellar. I'm fairly certain I can get it unlocked. Give me a moment. Hurry now. Inside. See if you can find the signet. It must be in one of these crates or boxes. <laughs> There's like... 20 adventurers <laughs> searching through these crates. Just a crate of knickknacks. Nothing important. Keep looking. Another secret door? I didn't know that was here. It has the same mark as the signet. Maybe. Let's see what's inside. What is this place? Did Verandas use this as a secret study? Check the desk, would you? To my dear friend. Verandas, I know that your ceaseless quest to appease and coddle the mortals takes a great deal of your time. But I must insist that you take a brief respite from your work to come visit the great castle we erected in your absence. It truly is magnificent. I firmly believe that when the peace we both seek is realized, Greyholm will stand among the wonders of the world. It will be a beacon of hope for our kind and the mortals who serve us. A grand reminder that anything is possible with hard work and vision. Your absence is felt here. The Grey Council rules the Grey Host. But your seat at our table remains empty. Even Exarch Ulfra feels your loss, though she would never admit it. Come, my friend. Visit us at Greyholm. We created a laboratory that rivals anything in the Mages' Guild. I have no doubt that you and Exarch Singalis can complete your research there. I've drawn a map on the back of this letter to guide you to the island. Return to us, Verandas. Return to the Grey Council. To your family and to your home. Your beloved brother. Rada al Saran. That letter. What does it say? You're not gonna like it, Gwendis. That letter. Please tell me it's just an old to-do list or something, and not actually proof that the man I trusted with my life was involved with the Grey Host. This letter suggests Count Verandas was a member of the Grey Host. What? Verandas? How could you? I don't want to believe it. And yet here it is, right before my very eyes. Why didn't he ever tell me? I thought I knew everything there was to know about him. No, there has to be more. What else does the letter say? It mentions an island and a Greyhost castle. There's a map, too. It's possible that castle no longer exists, but I want to go. I refuse to believe Verandas was part of the Greyhost. There has to be more to this. Some piece of the puzzle that makes sense of everything. 
Are you still with me? I'm still with you. I'll go with you to investigate the Greyhost Castle. Thank you. The cart's still waiting outside. We'll take it to the docks and travel by boat from there as we follow this map. Go on ahead. I want to take one more look around. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All right, I'll meet you by the cart. All right, so we're going to some mysterious castle. Count Verandas, we know you're in there. Open the door, please. Okay, I don't know what that's all about, but that's part of the core game story, so I'm not going to mess with it. I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Delaying the inevitable won't help anyone, and it won't get me the answers I need. Come on, let's go see what's on this secret island. What do you think we'll find on this secret island? Answers, I hope. Look, I have to do this. I'm going to see this journey through, no matter what truth waits at the end. Let's just go. The sooner we get this over with, the better. First, however, take this. You earned it. Thank you. That letter we found. I can't believe Verandas was part of something as evil as the Grey Host. I guess we need to go to the secret island, and the castle if it still exists. I won't rest until I learn the truth. The whole truth. How exactly do we get to the secret island? We follow the map. We'll take the cart to Shornhelm's coast, hire a ship, and sail to the spot indicated on the back of the letter. Fingers crossed, we'll be there faster than you can say gore apple pie. And what do we do when we get there? Look around, and hopefully find nothing. Determine this was just all a big misunderstanding. That Verandas was never a member of the Grey Host. If not, then I suppose I want to find undeniable proof that my mentor was a monster. So, can we go now? I'm ready to travel to the Grey Host Island. This still doesn't feel entirely real. I can't believe we found a letter tying Verandas to the Grey Host. From Rada Al Saran of all people. At least there's a map. Let's find this damned island and finish this. The cart's waiting. All right, now I can ask, remind me, why are we going to this island again? I don't know why I would want to ask that, but... We discovered a signet that looks just like one my mentor, Count Verandas, used to have. A signet that belonged to Rada al Saran. When we searched Ravenwatch Castle, we found an old letter to Verandas, requesting he come to a secret island. What do we know about this secret island? Not much. The letter mentioned a name, Greyholm. Kind of pretentious, if you ask me. And there's supposed to be a castle. If it's still there after all these centuries, maybe we can learn more about Verandas and his connection to the Greyhost. You really think Count Verandas was part of an army of vampires and werewolves? I don't know what to think. Maybe he was forced to join them. Or lied to. Or tricked. Or... You know what? Speculating is pointless. We have an island to find. Let's get on with it. We never found Verandas' signet. No, but I'm sure it was the same as the one from Viridian Watch. Not that it matters. You read the damn letter. It proves... I don't know what it proves. That my mentor might have been part of a cabal of vampires that tried to conquer Tamriel? Yeah, I mean... Sounds like maybe he quit them or something. They were trying to get him to rejoin them. Greyholm, thus the stones are laid, the foundation of our immortal rule. They were given the chance to join with us. Are we responsible for those that refuse our gift? Rada al Saran. All right, so I imagine this island is completely new. They must have made it just for this prologue quest. This is where the map led us. A lovely and ominous spot for a foreboding Greyhost castle, don't you think? If we can't find something about Rada al Saran and Verandas here, then I'm not sure where else to look. How do you want to do this? Well, it seems obvious to start with the unnecessarily ostentatious vampire castle over there. Yeah? I think we should survey the island first. The Greyhost may be gone, but they could have left traps, and who knows what kind of wildlife lives here. What kind of traps? I don't know. Something gothic and ridiculous. <laughs> I don't like to generalize, but vampires tend toward the dramatic. Just be careful. We won't learn anything about Verandas and the Greyhost if we go and get ourselves killed. All right, let's go look around the island. What is that thing? Did it just pulse at me? Did you see that? 
That crystal thing clearly reacted. It pulsed as I approached it. Do you think it's some kind of trap? Well, it hasn't exploded or fried us to a crisp yet, so I'm thinking no. Probably not. I've seen something like this before, part of a ward. I think it responds to the presence of a vampire, like those sigils we saw. So what do we do with these crystals? Now that they're awake, it should be simple enough to deactivate them. I'm not sure if your eyes are as good as mine, but I think I see a few more up ahead. I'll keep watch while you deal with the crystals. Alright, I'll try to deactivate the crystals. Go ahead. Just fiddle with the crystal and see if you can deactivate it. If I'm right, it's part of a complex ward protecting the castle. We won't be able to get inside while the wards are active. Well done. Let's go deal with the rest of the ward crystals. Alright, should be easy enough. Looks like a demonic bear. Wandering around. But it didn't attack me, so left it alone. You're pretty good at this. Uh, yeah, it's not like it's hard just to touch a crystal, Gwendis. Find another ward crystal. Uh oh. this. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Thought maybe it was an herb or some, uh, something I could make clothing from or something like that. Definitely a rumble. Let's go check the castle. Either that just opened the way into the big ominous castle, or we awakened some unthinkable horror that's on its way to devour us. I suppose either would be interesting. Let's go check the castle first, though, alright? Alright. If there's a horrifying monster that's going to try to eat us, we'll deal with it after we get out of the castle. Sounds good. <laughs> Whoa! Three of them! Two of them. The way looks clear. Let's see if we can get inside. I hate to admit it, but this place is impressive. I agree. You gonna talk to me, Gwendis? This place must have been impressive back in the day, but now it's just decrepit. Looks like it's been abandoned for centuries. Luckily, I came prepared. How do you feel about trying something unconventional? What do you mean, unconventional? The members of House Ravenwatch exchange vials of their own blood. 
That shows a rare level of trust, even among vampires, since blood can be used in all sorts of spells, both beneficial and harmful. I brought some of Verandas' blood with me. How is Verandas' blood going to help us? By putting a drop of his blood in this potion. We can dreamwalk and access any memories Verandas has of this place. I'll leave it here on the table for when you're ready. I'd drink it myself, but a dreamwalk requires an impartial participant. Is a dreamwalk dangerous? Dangerous? Not usually. The potion mixes alchemy and magic, Verandas' own design. It lets the imbiber experience the memories of the person whose blood is added to the concoction. The potion is on the table. Make sure you drink the whole thing. Okay, I'll drink the Dreamwalk potion and find out what I can. Exarch Verandis. While we have your crates moved to your study, Exarch Singalis and Ulfra would like a word. It is good to see you, Exarch Verandis. Lord Rada al Saran will be pleased you accepted his invitation. You have been terribly missed. Exarchs Ulfra and Singalis asked me to send you to them as soon as you arrived. They wish to speak with you. I'm no Exarch, dear Faustine. I want nothing to do with grandiose titles or Stirich's army. Of course, Lord Verandis. My apologies. Please, you shouldn't keep the Exarchs waiting. Where can I find Ulfra and Singalis? Exarch Ulfra likes to look out over the courtyard from the eastern balcony. Exarch Singalis rarely leaves his laboratory on the upper level. Both want to see you. I will inform you once your crates have been moved to the study set aside for you. Please take care with my apothecary chest. Many of the components are irreplaceable. If there is anything else you need during your stay, please do not hesitate to ask. So, uh, Exarch Ulfra and Singalis, uh, we kill them in the Greymore chapter. Just so you know, if you haven't watched the Greymore walkthrough or played the Greymore chapter, uh, they're dead at this point in the story. Assuming that you did Greymore first and then this one afterwards. Right now, it's telling me to go back the other way, but I, have what I'm I can literally just walk around inside of this castle. Someone dancing inside of a fountain. Alright, so I can go this way. This is Singalis' laboratory. Ah, Verandis. Good. I wanted to talk to you. I never tire of looking at this creation. Tell me again, why did you abandon your stone husks? I thought you wanted your precious mortals to enjoy the everlasting life of their betters. The mortal I resurrected went mad, Singalis. The experiment failed. Is that what bothers you? One small failure and you abandon such promising research. You had the opportunity to seize control of existence itself. To control both life and death. Such power is unimaginable, yet you squander it. One failure was more than enough. Even power such as you describe is not worth the cost. Cost? Bah! What cost? Mortals are as cheap and plentiful as grains of sand on a beach. Once you mastered your creation, you'd be able to resurrect them at will. They would worship you as a god. Wouldn't that bring about the peace you crave? We are not their gods, Singalis. We are their equals. How can you be so misguided? Mortals are so far beneath us, they cannot even comprehend their own inadequacy. I only hope Lord Rada al Saran can talk some sense into you. Meanwhile, I will study this creation. Perhaps even succeed where you failed. I hope you do succeed, Singalis. How I have missed our endless debates, my friend. Our deep and fascinating discussions about science and philosophy. I look forward to renewing that exchange. 
If you haven't presented yourself yet, you should go see Lord Rada al Saran. What about your own research, Singalis? I've been quite successful in your absence. Rada al Saran discovered a strange relic beneath the Reach. I spent weeks examining it. It's quite remarkable, and I've only scratched the surface of the possibilities it might offer our kind. That sounds fascinating. What kind of relic? I'd prefer not to draw any conclusions until I've had time to examine it at length. But I welcome the chance to discuss it with you once you've settled in. How I have missed our endless debates, my friend. Yeah, he's just gonna repeat himself. Alright, so now we'll go see Exarch Ulfra, I guess. Who is this way. Smell them, Verandis. Pray on the wind. We should be out hunting them, not uselessly debating in these halls of stone. You wanted to speak with me, Ulfra? When you see Lord Rada al Saran, do not continue your age old argument. He needs to remain focused. I'll never understand your obsession with sheep, Verandis. There are hunters and prey. We are hunters! Your sympathy for prey borders on the insane. You were mortal once. As were you, until Molag Bal made you into something more, something worthy. Lord Hersin made me one of his most powerful hunters, because he knew mortality restricted me. I could not reach my full potential until he rescued me from that fate. All I suggest is that we live in peace with mortals. They outnumber us, after all. The wolf does not fear a thousand rabbits. It merely enjoys the bounty her scene has provided. Humans, no matter how large their pathetic armies grow, will never threaten us. Come to your senses, Verandis. Come back to your brothers and sisters. I won't stop trying to convince you that my course is the correct one. You're a fool, Verandis. You always have been. Why does Lord Radha al Saran continue to humor you? We don't need you on the Grey Council. You aren't even fit to be one of Styrik's foot soldiers. Go bother someone else with your nonsense. This is an impressive castle that Rada al Saran has had constructed. Grey Home is impressive. I won't deny that. But I detest all the sitting around and debating. I'm a hunter. I ache to feel a mortal writhe in my grasp, to watch the blood spray against the dirt. Don't you? You know that is not my way, Ulfra. Why do I even try to talk to you about such things? Lord Rada al Saran should have dealt with you years ago, but he keeps calling you back. Did she say anything different? You're a fool, Verandis. You always have been. Yeah, okay. I figure she wouldn't say anything different, but always check. All right, now we've got to talk to Rada al Saran himself. This will be the first time we've seen Rada al Saran. Um, he's been talked about in Greymoor, but we've never seen him. We've heard his voice, but that's all. I believe you see him in uh, a cinematic that was made for the game. Uh, that's not in the game, but that was made to advertise it. He's never been in the in the actual game. Verandis, my friend. At long last. How good to see you, Verandis, my old friend. You look well. Our halls have felt quite empty without you. What do you think of our new home? Is it not, as I wrote in my letter, everything one could ask for? You've been to you've built a grand castle, old friend. But I must know. Have you considered my request? To parlay with the mortal queen? I have, but my stance has not changed. The Grey Host's strength has grown over the centuries, while dozens of mortal kingdoms have risen and fallen. 
What sense is there in revealing ourselves to them now? Mortals are not as you remember them. Empress Hestra would make a fine ally. What mortals gain from an alliance with us is obvious. But what benefit do we receive from them? King Styrik and our Greyhost could crush this Empress Hestra and her armies in a day. I know you worry for our people, Verandis, but you need not. You can't continue to war against the mortals. There are simply too many of them. For such a brilliant mind who helped conceive our Grey Council, you can be so short-sighted, Verandis. I will say this. If the mortals do not move against us, we will not move against them. But I cannot protect your precious mortals from themselves. I believe in the Grey Council, not Styrich's Grey Host, and an alliance would protect us all. Enough talk of alliances and mortals. It has been too long since we last saw one another, Verandis. Let us speak of better times. Drink the blood offered, and contemplate the tremendous responsibility we bear to keep our people safe. Okay, we've got three options here. I'm gonna say, I spoke with Ulfra and Singalis. Good. You cannot imagine how much I have leaned upon them in your absence. It should please you to know that Ulfra shows restraint these days. And I know Zingalis would love to discuss his experiments and research with you. Uh, Ulfra really didn't sound restrained, did she? They don't understand the dream, Rada al -Saran. They understand little that does not serve their own needs. They do not understand why we started the Grey Council, or what an asset you are to the Grey Host. It will take much to convince them to make peace with mortals. Why did you invite me here if you're unwilling to talk about this? We have talked and I have listened. I have humored your ideals far longer than they deserve. I invited you because you will flourish here, Verandis. You belong here, among your brothers and sisters, not meandered in the tribulations of mortal life. The dream didn't start with us ruling over mortals. Your dream and mine are similar, my friend, but they are not the same. This friction between us, it thins my patience. Still, this place, no matter how grand, did not feel complete until you returned. You belong here, Verandis. I would like to continue our discussion of an alliance with the mortals later, my friend. Of course, Verandis. I know you too well to think you would let the topic go so easily. I promise, we will speak of it again. There is no need to rush. We have not seen each other in an elf's age. I would hear what you have been up to, my brother. We're immortal. We have all the time in the world to catch up. And yet you waste years away from your family, caring for those who live short and meaningless lives. Ah, oh, Verandis. Is my word not enough to appease you? We will speak more of this later. For now, I wish to discuss more pleasant topics. All right. Lord Verandis, I apologize for the delay. The study is ready for you. Enough talk of alliances and mortals. It has been too long since we last... Okay, so I need to go to the study. <laughs> Verandus' journal. Easy, friend. It's time to wake up. Find the dream walk potion and drink it. Oh no! I wanted to read the journal! You cried out in your sleep just before you woke up. What happened? Are you alright? I went to Verandas' study in the dream and tried to read his journal. Oh, that would explain it. Don't worry, it's not you. It's almost impossible to read in a dream walk. But did you say Verandas' study? He had a study in this terrible place? Was he truly a member of the Grey Host? He was, and something called the Grey Council, but he wanted them to make peace with mortals. Sounds like Verandas. 
That's why he founded the Raven Watch after all. To allow vampires like us to gather safely, only feed on willing subjects, and help mortals instead of preying upon them. So he wasn't hoping to conquer Tamriel? No, he argued for an alliance with mortals. He truly wanted peace. Then he didn't lie to me. He's still the man I know and trust. He left out a few things, of course, but I'll deal with that another time. That study of his, it might still be here. Can you lead me to it? I can lead you to the study. All right, maybe the journal is still there. Assassins are attacking us. After all this time, his scent lingers in this place. All right, is his journal there? Yes. Let's search the desk, too. Red Guard street lamp. And some nickel. Diagram for Red Guard street lamp. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would ever come this close. My research finally bore fruit. The stone husk incubation vessels are the answers to all the unknowns I hoped to unearth. My hope for this is twofold. One that I will be able to resurrect mortal souls from their afterlife. Second, that I will be able to free vampire souls from Cold Harbor and thus free them from Molog Ball. I will attempt this extraordinary feat on a mortal first. A woman named Lesolda, who died of a wasting disease. Once I am sure that experiment is a success, I will attempt the much, much riskier undertaking of trying this on a vampire soul. I only pray that my excitement is not premature. I was a fool to think I had all the answers. I preached to Radha al-Saran about protecting mortals, yet my own experiment caused one to suffer needlessly. I attempted to resurrect Lysolda. At first, I was elated. elated. She did return from the dead, but she was not whole. Returning to the world of the living drove her mad. She was so angry. I could feel her rage as clearly as if she were made of flames. I could not think of a way to help her. I was forced to kill her to prevent her from harming anyone, and that act sickens me. My hubris caused Lesolda so much pain, it shames me. I must discover what went wrong. Perhaps if I put some of my own essence in a reliquary, it might stabilize the experiment. That will be my next course of action. There are simply too many unknowns. I modified the ritual, but I dare not follow through. The amount of life energy required to pull a soul out of Cold Harbor. That's too high a price to pay. I will keep a record of the process in this journal, but it must not be acted upon. The stone husks cannot be trusted as a methodology as they currently exist. This decision pains me, but I know in my heart it is right. I cannot hurt another the way I hurt Lysolda. I will not risk any others and cause more suffering. This study is closed. I have also begun to contemplate the ramifications of a world without a cycle of life and death. The possibility is horrifying. Why did I ever think this path was the way to peace? I was right to end my experiments and my research where I did. I do not know why I accepted Radha al Saran's invitation and came to Greyholm. Curiosity, I suppose. An undying hope that I can change the course of the Grey Council and avoid the war that Styridge so desperately craves? I did bring all of my equipment with me. The ritual chamber they constructed here is really quite impressive. For a moment, I contemplated renewing my research with Singalis, but I know now that would be folly. It's unfortunate I cannot extract my essence from the reliquary, but that is the least of my worries. For now, I will store it in the first floor armory, hidden among the other reliquaries. I have no intention of staying in Greyholm, or remaining a part of the Greyhost Grey Council, but at least I know the reliquary will be safe here. 
Let it serve as a reminder of my failure. If I am to truly broker peace between mortals and vampires, I still have a long road ahead of me. It's time to take my leave. Did you find the journal? What's it say? The journal was still here? Amazing! What did it say? Verandas attempted to resurrect humans and vampires using stone husks. Let me see that. Huh. Ritual's simple enough. Just light some candles and place the reliquary. It looks like he abandoned the research before ever testing it on a vampire. Something about life energy and too great a cost. I think Zingalus used his research to resurrect the Grey Host in Skyrim. Right. Zingalus must have continued Verandas' experiments and refined them. You know, when a vampire dies, our souls go to Cold Harbor, to Molag Ball. This may be our chance to get answers directly from a member of the Grey Council. You want to pull a member of the Grey Council out of Cold Harbor? Why not? They're evil. Who cares what the ritual does to them? We have to interrogate them and find some weakness. Some way to stop the Grey Host. Go downstairs and find the reliquary Verandas wrote about. Then meet me in the ritual chamber. I'll go get the reliquary. Get the reliquary and meet me in the ritual chamber. Well, that is not really the right way. Could probably get there that way, but it's not really what I want to do. Ancient chest. Veranda's reliquary. A reliquary filled with a small portion of Veranda's life essence. Ah. I keep getting lost in this place. Did I actually go the wrong way entirely? Looks like I needed to keep going this way. Gotta go up the stairs or down the stairs. That's a stone husk, all right. Light the candles to begin the ritual. Good. Now place the reliquary. Mm. 
the ritual. It's working. Don't move, Exar. We've got questions. So hungry. Fine. You want to fight? Let's do this. damage inside of this red blob here. But I've got to kill him somehow. Wendis, what have you done? Verandis, what are you doing here? Who do you think sealed this place, child? I came as soon as my wards were disturbed. Verandus, you should have told me about the Grey Council. So you know, Gwendis. Come, let us all speak outside. They didn't start moving until I looted the chest. That was nice of them. So you're the one who helped my ward Gwendis with her inquiries. If I had been completely honest with her, I could have saved you both the trouble. Please, accept my apologies. Why didn't you tell Gwendis about being a member of the Grey Council? Well, that was the ancient past. There was no reason to mention my involvement with the Grey Host. I never imagined they would return. Radha al Saran and I were friends once. I tried to convince him to take a different path, but to no avail. I dreamwalked through your memories. I saw what you said to him and the others. You saw? Then know that I regret not trying harder. If I pushed, could I have averted the war? I suppose we'll never know. Regardless, Gwendis informs me that Radha al Saran may be alive, and somehow the Grey Host has returned to threaten our world. So what happens now? Now? Now I take up the mantle of what you and Gwendis started. We must find out what this revived Grey Host plans and devise a way to stop them. When the time comes, House Ravenwatch will send for you. I pray you will continue to aid us. I'll be ready when you call. I started looking for information about the Grey Host and discovered that my mentor had a hand in their creation. Verandas may have kept his past a secret, but at least we know he opposed their plans for conquest. He wasn't a part of their war. No. Verandas has promised to help you find out more about the Grey Host and their current plans. I heard what he said. I'm still angry that he kept this part of his past a secret. But we'll work it out. Eventually. In the meantime, at least I know he can trust him. That he didn't betray the ideals of House Ravenwatch. So you're going to work with him on this? Of course. There's too much at stake to let a few secrets get in our way. I'll help him in whatever way I can. And once we know more, we'll send for you. I figure you want to see how this ends just as much as we do. Yes. Anything else I can help with at the moment? Take this, my friend. You earned it. For helping me learn more about Radha al Saran and the Grey Host. And for discovering the true connection between Verandas and the Grey Council. When you're ready for a reckoning, House Ravenwatch will contact you. Alright, we got a uh, memento, Reliquary of Dark Designs. The mage that crafted the illusion produced by this replica reliquary meant for it to demonstrate the proper use of the real thing.
Alright, let's see if they say anything else. Verandas and I need to talk. A lot. But as soon as we're finished, we'll find a way to stop whatever the Grey Host has planned. Rest assured, you'll be the first person we call. We're in this together. The Grey Host must be dealt with. When the time comes, I hope you will be at our side. Until then, be well, my friend. Alright, let's check out this memento. Um, alright, it's probably... Right here. Reliquary of Dark Designs, here we go. Alright, let's see. Cool. It's pretty cool. So, any thousand-year-old secrets I should know about? Do you really want to hear all the sordid details of my past, Gwendis? Yeah, she probably does. Verandis and I need to talk. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go home. To the Snowmelt Suite in Western Skyrim. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I'm not sure which character I'm going to do Markarth on. Uh, whether it will be this character or the one that I'm doing the Greymore chapter on or an entirely new character. The character I'm doing the Greymore chapter on probably, he probably won't be finished by the time uh, Markarth is released. But regardless, uh, I will start a series on that as soon as it's released on November 2nd. Thanks for watching. See you next time.